Hello and welcome. I'm Dr. Robert Singer, Director of Neurovascular Therapeutics in the section of Neurosurgery at Dartmouth-Hitchcock Medical Center. And on behalf of Dr. Cliff Eske and the, our entire team, I want to welcome you to this module on Developmental Venous Anomaly. It's our hope that the following information will be helpful to you in understanding your care. You'll have plenty of time to discuss your questions during your virtual visit. What is a developmental venous anomaly, or DVA? DVAs, also known as venous angiomas, are a variation of normal brain anatomy and are found in up to 5% of people. They're blood vessels that provide a channel for blood to leave the brain. DVAs are seen in the cerebral hemispheres, cerebellum, and can be associated with cavernous malformations. They are generally benign findings and only rarely present with seizures or hemorrhage. This illustration demonstrates a DVA and again, this is a normal variant of anatomy. You can see in the blow up picture uh, very small tiny veins that feed into a larger vein. This is a hallmark of a DVA. Again, a DVA is a variation of normal anatomy. It sometimes can be confused with AVMs or arteriovenous malformations. The hemorrhage rate associated with a DVA is only about three tenths of a percentage point per year. Again, they're small conduits that em empty into a central dilated vein and drain normal brain tissue. They're often associated with cavernous malformations and finally are an incidental finding in most cases. It's very rare that DVAs have to be treated, mostly in the setting of bleeding. If they would bleed, then sometimes a craniotomy would need to be performed to evacuate the clot. Medical management oftentimes includes aspirin in the situation where the drainage of the DVA is pinched and not allowing appropriate outflow. In both of the images below, DVAs can be seen at the 9 o'clock position. Again, thank you for watching this short video about DVAs. They're very benign conditions. We usually don't do anything about them. They can be associated with other conditions, however. Your virtual visit should start shortly, but please feel free to watch any other modules and contact us with questions or feedback.